in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Japan, Yoichiro Sato. for Grant Waterman. Next we have a 170 welterweight fight. Sato, of course, hailing from Japan. Primarily a stand-up fighter. Hit and run style, you'll see him go in and out, in and out of range. Likes to set up a jab. He's a very active fighter. Not one to conserve energy. Sato should be uh, pushing the pace, chasing down his opponent. Very aggressive, traditionally very aggressive fighter. Of course, we have 14 different countries represented. Um, and now his Florida. opponent, he fights out of the ring corner third, fourth, and today. represents France and Algeria, Tahar. He's a very deceptive fighter. Changes levels a lot. Also a very hard worker. I think both fighters will be pushing the pace. I think you'll see a lot of engaging. There won't be a lot of feeling out in this fight. Hadby also should be attacking the opening bell. Very unorthodox approach. You know, they say styles make fights, and we have two stand up fighters with very, very uh, contrasting styles. Sato is a more traditional stand up, technical fighter. I'd be more of an orthodox fighter. Looking forward to it, it should be a very entertaining stand-up fight. Exchange pleasant treason. Back to Cyrus for the official announcement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three five minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first the fighter on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 177 centimeters tall, weighing in at 77 kilos. His record, 17 wins, six defeats, and two draws. Fighting out of Japan, Yoichiro Sato. And now his opponent standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 182 centimeters tall, weighing in at 77.6 kilos. His record, 11 wins, six defeats. Fighting for France and Algeria, Tahar Hatfi. Your referee with the action begins, Grant Waterman. Multi-talented Grant Waterman giving up the headset and Jumping in the cage Protect for the third times. fight of the evening. Listen to my words of command at all times. Keep the fight away from the ropes. If I say stop, you stop. And here Touch we gloves. go. Big matchup here. And if he right hasn't back. made his own introduction here, Ken Pavia on the broadcast in our color commentary spot. You ready? You ready? Ken, this is Let's a good fight. one. This one should be interesting with Sato and Hadby. It's Hadby in the black and Sato in the black and white trunks. 
Cyrus, we have very contrasting styles here, both stand-up fighters, so, and they both push the pace traditionally. We'll see a very aggressive fight. Sato, the more traditional stand-up fighter, had to be a more unorthodox approach. Well, that's what the fans want to see. Everybody loves a good stand-up fight. These two men can hit hard, both with great records in their career. Hadby, a bit taller, has that reach advantage. Will that be a factor in this fight? As you mentioned, both fighters have a, a number of fights to their credit. I think the cardio becomes big, a big issue when you're a young fighter, but these guys, are, they're veterans, and they should be able to pace themselves a little bit better. I have to agree with you there, as Sato has kind of been on his heels. Hadby has pushed the pressure here, kind of held on to the center of the ring, not really giving up much ground. Great counterpunch by Tahar Hadby. And note Sato, the traditional striker, level change went for takedowns. Much to, much to our surprise. Yeah. Well, usually if the striking cancels itself out, then where do you go? Perhaps we see Sato try to get this to the ground. Hadby with some nice direct punches that we've seen thus far. This nice outside leg kick. Well, just, well, generally, well, given his ring generalship, he's walking Sato down. He's, he's trapping him in the corner. He's looking for the big shot, it looks like here. I want to welcome everybody watching on our broadcast partners and, of course, online at AbuDabiWarriors.com. We hope you're following along on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. There's a big attempt of a right hand by Sato not quite connecting. I made the big intro about Sato being an aggressive, active fighter, and thus far he's been on his heels <laughs> backing up. hand gets through for Tahar Hadby. He has had the advantage thus far with the strikes. Certainly putting the pressure on the Japanese fighter. Of course, here at Abu Dhabi Warriors, we've had some great Japanese fighters. That's a big right hand! And he may be out, and he has Tahar Hadby. Very impressive. Making a huge impression here at Abu Dhabi Warriors 4. There's your first highlight reel out of the night. Hotby laying out with Jiro Sato. And Sato still doesn't realize what hit him. There's a very dazed look in his face and his nose looks a little bit out of place. A very, a very effective one too. Let's look at the highlights here, Cyrus. Look at that right hand. Right on the job with Jiro Sato. And textbook, he said he the big up, two up with a jab. He did. Very straight down, down the pipe and good night Sato. There, there it is, the most effective punch is right down the middle and that's what you saw at a hot beat. What a knockout. The crowd loves it here in the IPIC Arena here at Abu Dhabi Warriors number four. Tahar Hadby. Puts himself in the Someone conversation. The needs to be in no doubt we'll see him back here in Abu Dhabi. Right, if someone gets knocked out, I want him in here. As you can see, the cut been working aggressively on Sato's nose. Yeah. Monsieur. Good job. Again, let's get the replay. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight stops. with a straight jab. Big two. And it was good night, Sato. By TKO to the strikes. Presenting the award to Tahar Hadi is Lupamir Genjia, Managing Director of Abu Dhabi Warriors. If we have a knockout, just come straight in, please. Okay. Straight in. Okay. Do you have any oxygen or not?